Today's question comes from Joe in Minnesota. What are your thoughts on a credit union versus a bank? My wife and I are recently married. Both currently use a bank for our debit accounts. Uh, we've talked about switching to a credit union with our joint account. Are there any pros or cons for either? Um, the, the community bank, a small town or, or a regional bank, or a good-sized credit union, either one are just fine. Uh, what I would never use is an, a super, super small, like a one-person operation credit union because they don't have enough features to do your banking well with in most cases. be very unusual. But there are some very good, very sophisticated credit unions. As a matter of fact, most of them are. Um, and I never would use a mega bank. I never would use Fifth Third, Bank of America, uh, Wells Fargo, um, I mean, I, no. Why in the world anybody does business with them is beyond my imagination. Uh, you're treated like a number. Uh, they're crappy in everything they do. Um, it's just awful. So, no, I, I, I don't have any money with any, any of those things. So, either one. You will find the community bank and the credit union do not treat you like a number. They will know you if you go in there physically. Um even if you just go in there once or twice, you'll meet the you know the president of the bank or the credit union or the manager of the branch or whatever, like in the old days when we did banking. Um, you do want to make sure they've got good online stuff because most of us do our banking online now. Uh, and so you want to lay that all out. Uh, but yeah, I, I, what I'm looking for here is just a level of service and where they're not just so hell bent on shoving credit cards and car loans down your throat. Because as soon as you walk near a bank, when you get home, there's like four pre-approved offers in your mailbox. And they, they just, I mean, it's like you're playing with snakes all the time. And you're just going to get bit if you're not careful. So stay away from the big guys um, and look for a, a little guy that has a good enough level of sophistication. Oftentimes, credit unions, by definition, are not for profit. And all that means is that the profits that they make are plowed back into services, increasing services or free services. So you'll often find things like free checking, slightly higher interest rates at credit unions on your savings accounts, slightly lower interest rates if you were to borrow money, which I don't tell you to do. But you'll find credit unions a little bit cheaper on a lot of things most of the time, even than the good community bank, but always cheaper than the big mega banks. Because they're they're gonna you know they have one goal in life at the mega banks and that's take your money, that's their mission statement. Take your money as much of it as they can get. It's what they're for. It's their very reason for existence. You can read their mission statement, and it isn't serve the customer. It's maximize shareholder return. Uh, it's take money, make a profit as much as they can possibly squeeze out of your head. So just don't do it. Now, the credit unions are, you know, I mean, don't be fooled by the fact they're not for profit because everything that's not for profit makes a profit. Not for profit is an accounting entry. A not for profit that doesn't make a profit closes. So charities, you know, churches, uh, Anything that runs as a not-for-profit is an illusion. It, that is an IRS designation. It all brings in more than it pays out or it closes. Pretty simple. Okay, so there's nothing in er inherently holy about a not-for-profit versus a profit. So you don't get that card with the credit union. But the banks all gripe and they go, well, it's not fair. They're, they're not-for-profit. and they don't. Well, all you got to do is lower your profits and you can compete with them, dube. You know? It, you know, well, they can provide services because they're not for profit. Well, they just plow their profits back in so that they didn't make a profit and they gave extra services to the customer. You could do that as a commercial bank, but, you know, you're too dadgum focused on milking the cow all the time. So, uh, you know, you just got to think this through. Anyway, that, all that to say, I'm ambivalent between credit union, a small town, local bank, community bank, regional bank. Anywhere in there is fine with me. As long as you can find somebody that gives you the proper services and um, that, you know, gives you the conveniences and you can develop some kind of a relationship with. Um, I have a, a local banker here that is a personal friend of mine that has had my personal checking account 
for almost 30 years. And she's a friend of my family. And when she changed banks a while back, I opened accounts with the other bank. I followed her. That's what you're looking for, is that. I have zero loyalty to a stupid bank. I had a lot of loyalty to her because when I'm out of town and something's screwed up, she jumps on it and fixes it, right? This is what you're looking for is somebody that actually gives a rip and doesn't treat you like a number. And that's just unheard of at stuff like Wells Fargo or Chase or Bank of America, the Fifth Third. They don't know how to do that. So that's what you're looking for. Good question. Good question, Joe. Thanks for emailing that in.